quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals to r squared, where r squared is equal to zero, then it is a point. While r squared is less than zero, then it is an empty set. While r squared is greater than zero, then it is a circle. So here are some examples. So we will go to determine whether the Cuban equation is a point, empty set, or a circle. So we have like the first problem here. So since this problem was divisible by 2, we will simply divide this equation by 2. Now, the next step is to group like terms. These remaining two problems will be done as what we did in the first problem. So, we do not just remember that if the value of the R squared is equal to zero to the point. If the value of the R squared is greater than zero, then it is a circle. If the value of the R squared is less than zero, then it is a set. So, it is your task to find out what is the equation. Problem here. So first, we will divide it by two. So it will become x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 4y plus 5 is equal to 0. Then we will combine like terms. It will become x squared plus 2x plus y squared minus 4y is equal to plus plus 5 negative 5. Then we will get the perfect square. So divide. 2 by 2 then square 2 divided by 2 1 1 times 1 1 plus negative 4 divided by 2 is equal to negative 4 negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to 4 and then add also the value and here to the other side to become plus 1 then plus 4 and then Now we're going to perform the square of the binomial, so it will become x plus squared plus y minus p squared is equal to zero. So it is the form of x minus plus y minus. So since we can determine if it's a point, a circle, an empty set, we'll just rely on the value of the r squared. So since the value of the r squared is zero. So we can now say that this given equation is a point.